Yo, what's up? It's your boy Currency365. Hope you guys are doing well. Legends never die. They stay in our hearts. Uh, if you want to support us, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also you can come down here and hit the join button uh, under the video uh, or in our channel uh, section. And you can also join our Patreon, patreon.com slash currency365. And uh, we also have Cash App and also PayPal uh, for support if you want to sell some seeds. Peace out. God bless. Enjoy the video and keep the movement going legends bye in in that way okay so we'll so we'll do a full space on foundation but you got to give these people at least a little bit of a taste of like what is the prop? You know, Chris talked about this um, a, a little bit in his Cosmoverse presentation um, this last year. But why don't you just give people a little taste of like what is the problem that Foundation is aiming to address, and then maybe a little bit of how Foundation is aiming to address that. Uh, sure, sure. My focus right now is 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 on the the, the mission of uh, optimizing the engineering, but I'll quickly uh, change my focus. And um, and yeah, foundation. Basically, right now, um, there's a lot of data that is not on chain, that is not available on chain, uh, for which uh, data like historical data, um, aggregated data, this data does not live uh, on chain and products, they need uh, to create their own data pipelines um, from scratch in order to, to, to uh, fetch that data for themselves. Uh, when we are talking about this data, it's data like historical prices, volumes of liquidity pools, like all of this uh, does not live on chain and you need to create a complex data pipeline uh, in order to, to serve it. Um, this complex data pipeline takes a lot of uh, lines of code. Uh, I would say we analyzed some projects on average, um, they had at least 10,000 lines of code. It is something that is time consuming for developers. Um, I, I would say this is where projects allocate like 80% of their uh, backend uh, development um, efforts. Uh, so it's uh, like taking a lot of, of, uh, of resources to, to, um, to build the solutions. And at the end of the day, like every project is building it. Like there, there, there's a huge inefficiency in the market because every project needs this and is building it themselves. Uh, our solution with foundation is to abstract this data pipeline. So we provide an SDK, a framework where uh, other projects can, can, can use and uh, build their data pipelines, not in 10,000 lines of code, but in 100 lines of code in uh, 200 lines of code. This is the, 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 the mission that Foundation wants to achieve uh, with their uh, indexers. There's obviously uh, other things that we want to serve, uh, like LCDs um, and FCDs, so the blockchain nodes uh, that uh, are used for querying on-chain data. This is also something that is going to be provided by Foundation and also like digestible data APIs that uh, people can consume uh, based on the indexers uh, that the rest of the market already created. So what I mean is if I'm Astroport and I need um, for some reason uh, the token prices of um, like the overall market uh, token token prices, I don't need to create that indexer myself because probably somebody else has already created it and I can just reuse it. Um, so I would say like foundation, the basic uh, problem that we are trying to, 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 to solve with foundation is uh, data. And we do it in three main ways. We have the blockchain nodes, we have the uh, indexers, and then we have uh, the data APIs, um, which uh, anybody can, can, can use. And obviously this, um, people like projects will projects building on Terra, that's our incentive uh, for, for uh, one of our incentives for, um, uh, capturing uh, projects to Terra will will be exactly this. Like this uh, foundation will be free for every project building on Terra. So if you have 
like a, 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 an application on Cosmos, you have a very big incentive to deploy your application on Terra. Like your your whole infrastructure will be free, and this this uh, infrastructure infrastructure is costly. So you will reduce your costs to zero if you deploy it on 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 Terra, which is a great uh, incentive. And if you are not uh, deploying on on Terra, let's say that you have an application on 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 Ethereum, an EVM, or Solana, which is also ecosystems that we want to serve. You will be able to use Use uh, these uh, nodes, these uh, indexers, or the data APIs also, but you will you will have to pay, and by paying uh, you will be accruing value to value to Luna um, uh, because we are going to like like the the fee will go partly uh, partially to to like imp uh, increase the value of Luna. Obviously, this this stuff is uh, very uh, like a long time away. Uh, we're probably still not going to launch. Um, when we launch, we're still going to like have an, like a closed beta and then an open beta, and probably the the the, the complete service will only be launched. Uh, we're looking at like the end of the year uh, if when when we start monetizing this. Um, so obviously this is a, a long roadmap, but the so so I cannot say in detail like uh, how how things will be implemented in terms of um, of uh, value accrual to Luna, but it's one of the main things that we want to do. We want people to uh, pay for the the subscription, and this subscription will be accruing value to 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 Luna. And obviously um, this uh, service will be available first on Cosmos chains. Uh, we are already using it on on station and enterprise. Um, we will then expand to to other ecosystems later on, just like we did with Pulsar. Um, we believe uh, growing going uh, uh, multi chain is is a must nowadays. Um, we don't see the future being uh, a, a single chain world. So it's very important to go not only cross chain but cross ecosystem. And we have that experience on Pulsar. Uh, it was one of our differentiating factors. We we're really aggressive uh, launching uh, new ecosystems and uh, new chains, and that's the way we want to go with Foundation Two. Uh, we want to launch on 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 uh, Cosmos, and then very early move to other ecosystems like Solana, EVMs, and capture the market from there. I hope I I go I I I did a good uh, in the uh, deep dive on on foundation, but if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Yeah, there you go. That was that's the taste, Eduardo. That's what we need. That's what we needed for the crowd here. They needed a taste of foundation so they can get excited about it. So, so this is like this is a key differentiator between uh, an organization like TFL and other organizations that are just copying and pasting code. That it already exists out there. They're not trying to build any, you know, not trying to solve a hard problem that takes a while. That ultimately, if you solve it, has significant value for the ecosystem. Not just your ecosystem, but every crypto ecosystem, the crypto industry at large. And then ultimately using that to benefit your home ecosystem. You know, th this is one of the reasons why it's exciting to be involved in the Terra ecosystem because we're working on solving hard problems. We're working on building real products that have real value that people want to pay for that are not being incentivized to pay for right but it's providing more value to them than the alternative right it's not like oh i'm just going to launch you know another like you know copied project from ethereum over on cosmos to try and just capture the same you know a similar market cap that like you know this project has on ethereum or something right like this is you know completely different. And so I'm personally really excited about Foundation, probably one of the projects where I'm most bullish on that we're working on. Um, and it's completely different than like, this isn't like a, you know, it's not another DeFi protocol that like everyone's building a DeFi protocol right now, right? Um, and ultimately like, you know, they're, they're thinking that they're gonna find all the value in building the next DeFi protocol, right? And there's definitely value in building stuff like that. I think there's still a ton of value to, you know, I think that, the, the new financial system is going to be, if not wholly, partially decentralized, right? Um, and so there's still a lot of value to be had in building something like that. But at the same time, this is like the idea of like, oh, I'm, I'm going to build the next Google by like copying what Google did. You, you're going to have to build something completely exactly. different. <clears throat> yeah, no, that's completely true. Uh, and I think we're, we're like, 
like I really love uh, this um, this idea that we are building for foundation, like uh, basically fi uh, fixing problems that we found during our development and uh, pa uh, creating a good package uh, so that other products can use it also. Well, I think we are going to to extract a lot of value from there, and also like as uh, as uh, Web three grows. Like as uh, other products uh, sur uh, search, like we are still going to be capturing value from there. Um, it's like uh, not only we are building our own products, but also do during the, pr the 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 creation of our own products, we identify issues, we package those issues, and resell it, uh, resell it to other um, dApps too. So at the end of the day. Uh, we're we're like e despite like e e as more and more uh, apps surge, uh, as uh, more and more uh, the Web three is uh, used, um, we are also capturing that value, which is is, is really cool. And um, yeah, the, the the secret project uh, again, like it's something that got me really really excited uh, uh, too. Uh, there's other issues that uh, like not only us at as TFL, but uh, there's a lot of issues. Um, that are surging now uh, with the the app chain world, uh, a lot of problems. Uh, like a lot of projects are are are, are bringing these issues up. Uh, I cannot be more. Um, I cannot uh, tell you what these problems are, but I, I can say that it's something that uh, the community as a whole like really really discuss the, discusses a lot, and um, we are thinking of ways to 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 solve it. So. Yeah, I'm really, really excited about that uh, too. To be honest, you could be referring to any one of the multiple secret projects that we have. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This one in particular is also uh, an infrastructure project. Uh, oh, I see, I see. Similar, okay, I, similar. I, yeah. I know which one you're talking about now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it got us really excited uh, talking about it on 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 this uh, lead, like uh, engineering offsite. It was uh, it was amazing. Uh, it's also something that I've always been thinking for a, quite a while uh, because I, 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 in my opinion, it's the biggest issue, the biggest issue for for app chains and and, and Cosmos in general. Um, and I, I've been thinking about it for a, a few weeks. But uh, I didn't know that it was being developed, and I, I, I was really impressed, I have to say. But people will probably be knowing more about that in the later later weeks. There you go. We gotta we gotta leave them wanting more. You know, we can't give you everything all at once, guys. It's it takes time. We gotta of course we gotta, you got, we gotta you preheat have to be... the oven. You have to be an active. Uh, you have to be active in the community. You have to uh, be here uh, in the spaces uh, for you to know about that. For you to to get the alpha and uh, get, gain the edge on the rest of the of the community, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Until one of these guys tweets it out in like five minutes after we say it, and then everyone everyone knows anyways. <laughs> I'm I'm really surprised with the, the the way like yeah the the community on 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 Twitter is, is is amazing. There's a I remember when Pulsar like we like we 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 were uh, already invested by by Delphi, um, but basically there was nothing public on us. Like we had like chosen our name like uh, the 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 week before. We still did, was not we're not sure about uh, Pulsar. Uh, we were st at, at the time we were thinking of Massify and we were like we had all these crazy names that we discarded for for Pulsar. Um, but uh, e even then, like there was nothing of public on, on on Pulsar. And still, like I remember, like um, uh, somebody from Delphi uh, mentioned the secret project, uh, and they put our lo like a, a, a sketch of our logo, um, which at, at the at, at the like if you look at our logo, it. it, it you, you, if you associate with the name, you see that it's a pulsar. But if you don't think about it uh, for for a lot, if you if you don't know the the name of the company, it's a, a little bit hard to 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 get the name. But 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 the community on Twitter, they they saw the logo and they were like, "Ah, oh, this is, is this pulsar," uh, the, and and there was nothing public. It, like it's impressive. Like people, um, people are, they, like they, you have a, a lot of um, like a lot of uh, informed people on the community and uh, information spreads like wildfire like uh, 
um, yeah, these, uh, and you don't see this uh, anywhere else. You see this is only on Twitter, like on on the rest of the social networks, like Reddit and and all that stuff. Like it, it's nothing like this. Like Twitter is really um, like one like a a different in a different world for 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 crypto. Yeah, yeah. No, this is yeah. This and and the terror community specifically is is relentless. I mean, this this community. <laughs> is probably one of the most hardened like just committed you know groups of people i've i've ever i've ever been in contact with or known i mean that's true i've you, met a, a bunch of i've met a bunch of them in person as well o- over time and i mean these are these are some awesome people here so shout out to everyone that's listening in here live i see a lot of familiar faces in here shout out to the people that are listening back to the recording of this as well the lunatics we appreciate you yeah. guys. I mean, we have been through literally probably more than almost anyone in crypto at this point. And we're still here building. We're still here focused on the future. And it's just, it's amazing to see everyone that's still supporting the Terra ecosystem and focused on building things like the projects that we're working on and the projects that the teams in the ecosystem are working on as well. It's fantastic. And, you know, like you were just talking about, you know, some of the things that, uh, we're working on and, and how those fit into the, the wider thesis. I mean, ultimately, like Terra has always believed in a multi-chain future and we's al- we've always believed in uh, supporting decentralized economies. And Foundation is another example of a project that supports decentralized economies by enabling these projects to get the data that they need to run mm-hmm. an efficient and effective operation. And so we're continuing with, it, uh, with those ideas and continue with the values that this ecosystem was founded on. And we'll continue to do that in the future as well. Yeah, for sure. J- j- just a note on, on the community. Yeah, I, I really have to, to give my shout out to, to like, it's impressive. And you don't see this anywhere else. Like uh, there's uh, no community like this on 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 EVMs, no community like this. Solana has a little bit of a, a community too, and I know other projects on Cosmos, but like it's insane. The Terra community is is definitely like insane. It was the first um, it was the first uh, like blockchain we launched uh, our integration for for Pulsar, and like the, 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 we remember like the the adoption was insane from the moment that we we said that we'd be launching on on Terra. Like everybody like. All the the, the Terra community was uh, blasting this on on Twitter. Like everybody was using it, and um, you can really see. Like uh, obviously, we right now have some challenges uh, in in like on 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 the top of the table, and like we cannot uh, discard those. But I think you can see really like how, how the community is is uh, is, uh, is amazing uh, for the growth that Terra had uh, when we didn't we did not have that challenge. We uh, had a very, very good narrative, and that narrative spread like wildfire because of the community. And uh, huge props to you, Zion, and to all the, the, the marketing team, all the communication team, because you really uh, did a, an amazing job in growing this uh, community that we call Terra. It's amazing. Well, all credit goes to the community because these these people would, you know, w- with with or without me or with or without you know i think to be honest like regardless of almost any situation it seems like the the terror community is just a relentless determined group of people that uh that really believe in building a decentralized future and and uh so yeah happy to support them and yeah it's 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 awesome to see um all of you guys here in these spaces and i enjoy doing these guys with you get with you guys every couple of weeks so we'll keep doing them, um, but we're we're actually a few minutes over here, and this has been I think this has been a fantastic space. Um, a couple rapid fire things before before we uh, close it off, um, and then we can obviously we'll, I'll let Vlad and Wardo you guys give some closing thoughts as well. Um, we have uh, the Alliance Explainer video, so I've been working on getting a short uh, three minute explainer video made that explains how Alliance works, so that it's easy for people to understand both at the chain level, also at the staking level so that people can just understand like, okay, this is how Alliance works. This is how Alliances are formed. And so we'll be publishing that probably tomorrow or latest on Monday. 
um, along with a guide on how to stake Alliance assets. So I think that will also um, help drive some Alliance adoption. And we'll also be posting the proposal that I talked about, I think a couple spaces ago, about whitelisting um, a stable swap LP token, as well as an Adam Luna LP token as Alliance assets on Terra to drive uh, significant stable coin and Cosmos token liquidity into the Terra ecosystem. And there's a whole slew of benefits that go along with that, which you know you can read all about that and the specifics of that proposal when we post it. Um, but that should be going live this next week as well. And then you know if the community is amenable to it, then uh, you know we'll start working on on putting that in place. Um, and so, yeah, those are just a couple quick things. Uh, Eduardo, any final closing thoughts from you? Yeah, um, as a closing thought, I would just uh, like to say that uh, obviously we're facing some uh, hard times uh, with the SEC and our response um, also to, to those to those hard times. So there's a lot on the table. But what I wanted to say and what I wanted to close off with is that you can count on us to be here until the very end uh, to do our best job. We are the show is going on. We are doing major improvements to to our teams. Uh, the, 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 what the product roadmap that we have is insane. Uh, a lot of cool products uh, coming soon. And even for the progress that we had, that we have uh, a lot of great improvements uh, are also being done. So you can count on us to be here and we are committed to doing the best job we can uh, uh, to, to, to ship the, um, the, the, the best products, uh, for, for TFL. Um, yeah, I just wanted to, to, to say that, uh, just like you guys are, are, are ex like super committed and you never give up the, the I, I finally had the opportunity to meet the team in, uh, in person. A lot of these guys, they are, they share the same energy. They, they are here very motivated regardless of, of, of what is happening. And you can count on us uh, to, to do the, our best job every day. Um, and yeah, just wanted to close off with that. Thank yeah, you for I'm going to echo that as well. Yeah, go ahead. Um, appreciate you guys. Uh, the team is really excited. Uh, we're excited to hear that you guys are excited, especially JG. <laughs> um, no energy like JG's. Um, and you know, gonna keep an eye the on the emoji button to be honest. <laughs> says. Um, so thank you guys, honestly, from the bottom of my heart that you guys are using our products. Um, no, there, there's nothing more satisfying as a developer than seeing, uh, your products being used and seeing people's lives benefit from it. Um, at the end of the day, that's why we're doing this. Um, and so thank you guys. Uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Uh, thanks, everyone, for joining, and we'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.